I'm Robert Williams from MiddleRules.com and joining me tonight in Austin, Texas at this year's Housecore Horror Film Festival is none other than Dutch and Felix Griffin of Crig Blast. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. How are you doing? Good. Great, thanks. So Felix, you've been putting in double duty as of late, playing drums for both Crig Blast and Bat. Let's start off with Crig Blast. People have been calling you guys a super group of sorts with yourself on drums, members of Phobia, Final Conflict, and Leftover Crack rounding out the lineup. How'd you all meet and how'd this new band come together? Uh, well, go ahead. All right. Um, I've been knowing Felix around town for a while. Me and the other guys kind of had the band together, but it was more of like we were just writing songs. You know, like Shane was living in Portland, Sturgeon was living in New York City, and we were living here and we were putting together this record. We ended up recording, but you know, we need an in town drummer. And we did what that Black Flag Misfits thing on Halloween, yeah. and we ended up hooking up, talking, hitting it off, and then it just came to me. I was like, Look, I'm just gonna ask Felix, man. And I sent him the CD. He liked it. And, you know, he's a Loved it. Remember, pretty blast. But it worked out great, man, because you know we've been kind of this rogue band, and now we've got like a solid foundation, like members, like family. This is the lineup, you know, and. Um, yeah, it's been going great, man. We've been getting great reviews. Uh, it's been going pretty smoothly. Yeah. So, Kirk Bass first release was the Hell to Pay 7 inch vinyl released through Bloody Sith Records, shortly followed by your debut full length Power Till Demise this past summer. You guys have already filmed the video for the title track off the new album. Are you guys planning on hitting the road in support of the new record? Eventually, yeah. We got some stuff in the works right now, um, but. None of it's concrete, you know, but yeah, we're definitely going to eventually. Probably Europe first. It yeah. is too really? hard to tour. Yeah, it's, yeah, the U.S., I mean, shit, back in the day you could tour it, but now it's, uh, you do, we do better in Europe, you know, so. There's trying. been a lot of sales, album sales from coming from Europe? Yeah, well, we have, uh, we're on uh, one of our distributors who put the uh, Power Till Demise 12-inch out. It's uh, Self Made God out of Poland. Okay. So I've heard of yeah, that. it's been doing really good in Europe, Europe and like Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah, like the wow. Indonesia, Philippines. They're really into crude glass down there. <laughs> so. So, uh, what, what, what would you say inspires you lyrically for this stuff, Dutch? Oh, fuck. Um, I guess it's my life. You know. Um, you know, just a lot of the shit that we've been through and. Uh, just hard, to, hard yeah, poor shit. I, I just, I just, I mainly write about like mental illness, drug addiction, um, just a lot of our life struggles that we've gone through and gotten through. You know, because that's what I know. Uh -huh. You know, so um, still have not so much political, but definitely in that spirit. You know, but um, yeah, mostly about the downward spiral. <laughs> So, Felix, then there's the Motorhead, Venom-influenced speed metal of your other band, Bat, featuring yourself on drums along with members of Municipal Waste and Vulture. I know you guys recently teamed up with Chainbreaker for the aptly titled Batbreaker Tour of the East Coast. How'd that go? It went well, except uh, I didn't get into Canada. That sucked, but uh, other than that, it went really well. It was good to do that because um, we recorded, we started on our album, uh -huh. so it was kind of like we had plans to do like a certain amount of shows so we'd be kind of tight since I live here and they're up in Richmond is a good way to uh, get everything squared away before we went into the studio. That recently signed with the Cole Underground Metal label Hell's Headbangers for the vinyl and CD release of your upcoming debut full length along with the Cruel Discipline 7 inch and the band's Primitive Age demo to be pressed on 12 inch vinyl. I know your bassist and vocalist has gone on record saying that everything bat releases will be available on vinyl. So in today's world of downloadable content, why was it so important for you guys to continue to release vinyl? I guess because it's old school, you know, keep it simple. Uh, like our demo came out on cassette tape, uh. you know, nobody has a fucking cassette player anymore hardly, but uh, you know, just old school, keep it raw, you know, a lot of the stuff from, it's going to be raw, you know, it isn't going to be super enhanced production or nothing like that, sort of live. Sounds better to me. You a big fan of vinyl format, Dutch? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, CDs, people just aren't buying them anymore. People 
pushing up to buy vinyl again. Places are selling record players again. You know, so uh, and it's a it's something it's big, something to, tangible. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you know, I've noticed people are just buying more records now than they are CDs. Yeah. You know, so. Very hard to ship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just like putting out vinyl, man. It's just you know, it's uh, more timeless. Cassette know. tapes. Yeah, Put everything and, and out cassettes. On cassettes. Mix those tapes. are making a comeback too. Yeah. Eight track. Mm -hmm. I see oh, yeah. a lot of bands doing good with those limited yeah, eight track tapes. Cassettes. So you guys are here for the Housecore Horror Film Fest weekend. Um, tell me about the the bands you're most excited to see, the films you're most excited to check out. Don't ask me about the films. I don't know about you know they're scary. I watch each other. Uh, bands, you know, I'm, I want to see Boy Bod, of course. Um, you know, Napalm Death. Super Joint Ritual. I mean, I, uh, Sam Hain. Uh, I'm my friend Sam Hain, so I want to check him out for sure. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about Neurosis, Corrections House, um, Super Joint, of course, and uh, Gazmias, and the other DB band that's playing, Friends of Ours, are really good. Uh, Voivod, I mean, that's always been one of my all time favorite bands. You know? yeah. So, last time I played here, it was killer. So, man, there's just a lot of bands like that I, I haven't even seen or heard before. I looked up before the show started, you know, and um, like seeing Portal play, man, like these guys are phenomenal. I'm scared you know? of them. Yeah. <laughs> scared. So it's October, we're here at House Core Horror. What, what would you guys say is your favorite horror movie if you had to pick one? I like, uh, goddamn. On the tip of my tongue, it's Frankenstein. Uh, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. I would say he knows you're alone. That's the first horror movie. He's eat acid all the time and watch that when I was younger. <laughs> he knows you're alone. No, uh, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. Watch it on acid. So you toured last year with your old band DRI for a reunion of the '80s lineup. What was it like for you to play with those guys again? Have you been in contact with Kurt and Spike? Any plans to work with DRI again? There has been plans, uh, but well, first of all, it was it was a lot of fun to play with the with Josh and those guys again. We only did five shows. We were supposed to do more shows this year, but uh, you know, something came up, and uh, maybe next year. Uh, it was the 30 year anniversary of dealing with it. And, you know, we talked about doing LA and San Francisco and New York and stuff like that. So we'll see. Hopefully, you know, I'm down, but I haven't really talked to him lately about it. You know. Love the dealing with the record. So, with all that you got going on musically this year with Craig Blast, with Bat, do you still have time to do Blood Force Trauma and Condemned Unit? No. <clears throat> Blood Force Trauma broke up and Condemned Union, Condemned Unit. Uh, hasn't been a band in a long, long, long time. But uh, we're doing our deal. Yeah. Yeah. Got time for that. So, from someone who's been there since the early 80s, what advice, if any, would you offer to the next generation of kids, you know, starting their first garage bands? Um, don't fuck with Guitar Hero or any kind of bullshit like that. Um, just practice. Practice, practice. Um, it's a way of expression. I'm glad I started dr playing drums before I discovered drugs, you know, yeah. because I was so intense on learning how to play obsessive. And then, uh, of course, you know, history speaks for itself, but yeah, just keep keep at it. Yeah, I would say just, just practice. I mean, if you have an interest in playing music, man, it's, it's more than just an idea. you, you got to put in the action and do it, you know. Um, yeah, I don't really understand don't the sell kids out. anymore. Don't be egotistical. <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah. Uh, don't be shitty to your fans. Uh, you know. Yeah, I see that these people get big and they fucking treat their fans like shit or think they're better than the next person. Stay humble. It's the best advice. Yeah, any absolutely. Any bands. Absolutely. It's a labor of love. You know. So. So, what do you guys got kicking for the remainder of 2014, first quarter of 2015? What's next for Crick Blast? Um, we're doing a split with Gasmiasm. It's in the works, and we're working on the new 12 inch right now. We got a bunch of new songs that we're working on. Um, 
which I mean, if you like the Power of the Mize record, I mean, this is love it. Like way past that. I mean, we we kind of wrote that one on the fly, man. So this stuff we've actually been able to sit down with and really polish and harness, and you know, um, yeah. This next one that we get out is gonna be pretty good. So. I was gonna say, going out, man. Well, hey, I'd like to thank you both for taking the time to talk metal. Uh, before we wrap this up, yeah, any thanks. last words for your fans watching at home? Uh, thank you for all the support. For yeah, all the years. Years. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, download our record, man. It's really it's on Moshpit Tragedy right now, you can get it. Thanks for all the support.